Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. What's the future of health? I'm talking to the who's who of health tech and healthcare innovation here in the digital health studio. And joining me right now from Dubai, I have Dr. Osama El Hassan. He is a health information specialist and also the co-founder of Zimam, which is a workforce development initiative focused on digital health. Nice to have you here. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me here. All right. Let's start the conversation off real quick. Just get everybody up to speed on what's going on in digital health in Dubai. I don't often get to meet people from your well, part of the world. So tell Dubai us. Dubai is uh, one of the major cities on, of United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates is one member of what we call the GCC Council, the Gulf Corporation Council, which includes countries like Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, and Qatar. So if you look into the, the region in terms of digital health, and if you look into one of the uh, uh, international standards like the WHO Digital Health Monitor, you, uh, these six countries are one of the top uh, advanced con countries in digital health. We've spent a lot of uh, millions, a lot of investments on digital health in the last five years. We have projects around, for example, health information exchange, uh, uh, you can say uh, advanced EMR system like Epic, Cerna, Intersystem, they are all over the place. So at both the enterprise level and the national level, we have a lot of uh, better digital health transformation projects. Very cool. And so tell us a little bit about some of these workforce challenges that the group that you founded is taking on. I mean, what, what, where are the gaps right yes. now? So as we speak uh, about the digital health trans transformation investment across the last five, maybe 10 years, we realize that one of the major stumbling blocks to sustain these kind of in investment is to have a good supply or enough supply of workforce, especially in digital health. That's a very, very difficult task to achieve. And I believe that the digital health gap is not only a regional issue, it's oh, a global issue. Absolutely. And because of that, we realized that we need not only to, for, uh, to rely on the government to, to fill in this gap. So because of that, we came up with this scientific initiatives called ZIMAM. We found it in 2016 to help government to identify the gaps and to identify ways to Bridget, uh, in terms of uh, promoting digital health as a career, supporting universities in building uh, curriculums mm -hmm. that really come up with the right talents and workforce to support these kind of transformation. All right, so how is the uptake for the initiative going? Like, I mean, are, are things so really I, moving I can, forward? I can give you one example for mm -hmm. that. So I, when we started in 2018, we did develop our own first conference to promote digital health specialties. So we created a very small uh, workshop around health information exchange. And at that time, health information exchange was a very basic idea. I remember like we had almost five or six people in the entire region who knows what is a child. <laughs> wow. So we brought two or three experts from US, from uh, Europe, to talk about the concept and how to build these kinds of projects. So we developed a very small workshop I remember we had around 15 people there. So we did the same workshop last year, 2020, who after five years of consecutive uh, contribution to this topic, uh, we had the same uh, workshop, but at that time in, two, in November, 2022, we had 250 people in oh, the room. Wow. <laughs> and we have five up and running HIE systems in the region. Wow. Three in UAE, one in Saudi, one in Qatar. I remember that the the total amount of investment that was poured for this project is up to $1 billion. Wow. And you can imagine how many jobs were created, how many people already working on this space now. So we created a, a full ecosystem from scratch. And we are trying to replicate this uh, experiment over different topics like AI, cybersecurity and privacy, uh, digital therapeutics. So we are building small ecosystems around new advancements in digital health. Awesome. So like, can I ask a little bit about some of those? So talk to me about what's going on in AI. How are you looking at that with the system that you've built? So, it uh, sounds like you're so yeah. coordinated. So uh, within AI, we are focusing in two areas. The first area is the regulatory frameworks to support AI. So how to adopt AI, how to develop AI algorithms and vet them to make sure that they are safe from the 
a patient, uh, patient, uh, what do you call it, uh, security, yes. patient privacy. So we vet those kind of of, of uh, AI algorithms and to create the talents that are capable of doing this is not an easy task. So this is the first branch. The second branch, we are helping governments and universities to build accelerators that uh, show them how to adopt new technologies, new startups, engage them, uh, I allow them to access the healthcare data. That, these are very, very difficult that's, to, to, to achieve. That's incredible. I love that you're bringing startups in too. Yeah. I want to ask about digital therapeutics as yeah. well, because I, that's a, a hot area I know yes. emerging. Um, and a, a lot is being done in Europe in that sense. But what's what's going on with digital therapeutics? So we, we as we speak, like within the last two or three years, we witnessed a number of digital therapeutic companies who came to our region and they developed use cases around, for example, the, uh, diabetes, around... Uh, uh, tuberculosis as well, or asthma, and we see them uh, working and uh, working and uh, even acquiring patients, and it seems like they are uh, running successfully. Very good, and that there's support for that in yeah. the ecosystem. Very cool. So, what are you most excited about moving forward? I mean, because it sounds like your initiative has grown, a lot of attention on workforce development. Yeah, so, what's it. next? What's the so top? So, we of the realized priorities? within the last maybe after five years of operating in, re in the region, I mean GCC and also the uh, the MENA region, we realized that the areas that we are addressing actually are international issues. And because of that, we decided to go international and we will officially launch Zimam as an, a full-fledged uh, non-for-profit non organization. Wow. And it will be based in Geneva. Uh, our main goal is to be a, a WHO collaborative, uh, collaboration uh, agent and also work closely with, uh, I can say, similar organizations. Uh, I can give you an example for that, like IDA, which is focusing on workforce development. Uh, and uh, we want to work with them together to build some sort of a competency-based framework for digital health and also support building career uh, path for, 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 uh, for, uh, for this uh, domain. Ideal state for you, what is the health IT, digital health workforce of the future look like? What's ideal for you? Well, ideally what I have seen now that it will not be a vertical discipline. Ooh, okay. So that means that it will not be a, a, for a talent who will start his job today that he will uh, climb a ladder, a vertical ladder. It will be more of kind of a mesh where I can go diagonal by ah. acquiring some sort of micro-credentialing all the time. So I can learn a little bit of AI, a little bit of change management, a little bit of uh, blockchain. So I will be acquiring a different set, skill sets across the board, and I will be more engaging with groups to develop new projects. That that's the, will be the new trend rather than having a classic job. I love that, Osama. Thank you so much for stopping by Thank and sharing with us much. the work that you're doing. And, and two, also, the exciting things that are happening in Dubai. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to host you in mid-2027. Uh, that will be in exciting. Dubai. Yes, yes, yes. We're on the way. Yes. Don't worry. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank bye you. Bye. For more interviews with the people who are changing the way that we do healthcare, head on over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash WTFL. And we're going to take you up on that invite. I'm Jessica Namasa. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.